Carly, what you probably noticed on all those traffic cams, the roads are still damp. We've got light winds out there. The perfect recipe for fog development. And I can show you the time lapse of that overnight in Vancouver. This is the last four hours. And notice as it kind of comes and goes. And then the last hour or so, it's become uh, pretty thick in Vancouver. A lot of locations around the metro visibility down to about a quarter of a mile. And here we go live outside. We're looking live at the south waterfront as our director pans around. I, I believe it's Larry back there. Thank you so much for that. Temperatures in the 40s, 45 degrees in East Moreland and Gresham, 44 in Vancouver, 44 also in Beaverton. A really mild start to the day for most of us. Temperatures just a couple of degrees shy of the average daytime high for this time of year around Portland. It's 45 in Salem, 40s through the gorge, and we're sitting right at freezing in Bend. 3D pinpoint Doppler shows you dry conditions for now. But that won't necessarily last all day long. We're watching rainfall off the coast. Most of this is going to head north of us, but some of it I think could fall around the immediate Portland metro area later on this afternoon. And I'll show you that right now in Raincast. This is 2 o'clock. We're paused. We've got a light sprinkle there. More showers out at the coast, but mainly the north coast. And of course, the Seattle area getting a little bit of rain by 7 o'clock tonight. Some sprinkles around. So plan on that. Just bring an umbrella if you have a hot date tonight or something. Thing. And then tomorrow morning, we've got morning fog and then lots of afternoon sunshine. We remain dry for the weekend. Saturday looks like a beautiful day. And then Sunday, we start to see some more clouds roll into our skies, but still pretty dang nice. How about today out of the coast? Mostly cloudy and isolated shower. The best chance for that again to the north. Showers possible north around Kelso, but I think Salem and Eugene, you should remain dry and more sun the further south you go. East of the Cascades, partly sunny skies, feeling warmer today with temperatures in the 50s for Madras and Bend in the Dalles. 39 for a high government camp with high clouds and mild temperatures. That snow level all the way up at about 5,000 feet. Clouds and sun breaks through the gorge. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. A sprinkle possible later on in the day through the gorge, but mainly the western edge of the gorge there. Are areas of fog early on, as we're already seeing out there, and then a light shower possible later today. 50 for Camas and Gresham. And finally, moving up to the north, battleground 50 degrees, at Salmon Creek 50 as well. And hopefully, you won't see another earthquake again today. At the coast, mostly sunny skies, mainly dry on Sunday and 51 degrees. The Cascades, upper 30 for highs this weekend with sunny skies both days. Great bluebird skiing conditions in the Cascades. And one last stop, Central Oregon will be in the upper 40s with mostly sunny skies. So not a ton going on this weekend. It'll feel like spring as we enter into the month of February. Heck, Groundhog's Day is on Saturday and will be 54 degrees for that and mostly sunny. Rain returns in the middle part of next week. What do you have to say? So do you want six more weeks of winter or are you ready for spring? Is that a dumb question? <laughs> of course I want spring. I mean, maybe the weather person in me would like a good snowstorm, but uh -huh. I don't see that in the near future, so why not have flowers and sunshine? That's right. <laughs> I actually saw a little rosebud blooming on our rose did? bushes yesterday. Yeah. That's it's, exciting. It's a little, it's kind of weird. Take pictures February. of that and send them in to me because I love sharing pictures on the air. Okay. So if you're seeing anything bloom or bud, let me know. <laughs> dumb question.